Hey folks, Jay Barino here, continuing StarCraft Mass Recall, the StarCraft Brood War remake in StarCraft 2. Very excited, 6.1 came out, so it was the patch, the first patch for the Legacy of the Void edition. Actually, we're on 6.1.1. I have also heard all of your requests and am now playing with the retro mod. A lot of people have been asking, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. If there are any weird glitches or anything like that, then I will not hesitate to switch back, but let's definitely give it a shot. I am excited to give it Give it a go. Now, the big push, very long mission. Let's just go ahead and, and get started here because this mission, I think, is known to be one of the more grueling maps of the entire game. It's just a kill everything Terran v. Terran. All right, command ship Hyperion holding perimeter orbit over Confederate capital world Tarsonis. So our goal here is to destroy some, destroy some defense platforms or clear them out so that we can get our landing force onto the planet, at which point we'll be planting psi emitters, Similar to what we did on Antigua Prime. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. The time of our final strike against the Confederacy is close at hand. Before we can strike at Tarsonis itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've defended Tarsonis in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside and out. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. Well, the Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defending the platform. And they're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. Right. Cool. Just really minor changes with the Retromon. You can see a different adjutant portrait. Arturus Manx has changed mildly so that he's turned to face a, a different direction as he was in his original StarCraft 1 portrait. Things like that. Central Orbital Defense Platform. Perimeter Orbit over Tarsonis. Ah, oh, this is going to be such a pain in the ass. <laughs> I've neglected recording this mission because of how long it is. I mean, it doesn't have to be long. It just depends on how well you can play, I suppose. Let's hotkey Duke right away. We got a new planetary profile here for Tarsonis. This is going to go into our codex on the main menu. So again, you can pause and read this now if you'd like. I will not. Let's go ahead and move. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. You said it, Duke. Let's load on up. And we'll get a better look at some of the, the changes with the retro mod as we get going here. So the retro mod, back when I was playing 5.4, um, there were some very, very minor issues with it, I think. And like I had said in the past, I sort of prefer just the original models because they're, they're a little more polished. But I've decided, again, a lot of people wanted to see the retro mod, so I will, I will play with the retro mod, and I have a feeling I will come to appreciate it quite a bit. There's the, the new Marines right there. And we have new uh, new sounds as well. So the music is a little too loud. I don't want the music. Eh, I guess it's fine. It feels a little louder than normal. Is that just me? I just, uh, I want to make sure that the, the in-game sound is loud enough, but not be drowned out by my voice or the music. Okay. So let's go ahead and get landed here. We have all sorts of good add-ons here. Oh boy, we get to save just a little bit of money. Who cares? Okay, so let's throw our barracks down. We're going to get set up here pretty soon. So if I remember anything about this map, it is a slight pain because you don't start out with enough depots, so you have to get those set up right away. We can actually put these around our starboard because nothing's coming out of there that can get path blocked. We obviously want to get siege tanks very, very soon. And wraiths and random dropships tend to come from over here, here, and here. So we want to be prepared for those, maybe even as far back around here. So we just want to get a lot of turrets, and we might even get a bunker in each mineral line just to protect us. We have these two random dropships, which I don't really plan on using. We can use Duke to just move around and scout things out, but for now, let's not worry about it. I like the, the marine model. Looks really cool. Again, it just all the models with the retro mod are so neat. They're just, they're all different, and, uh, and just cool. I like them a lot. Let's go ahead and hotkey here. So I haven't played in about a week, so we'll see how this goes. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous. Just a little nervous, only because, again, this mission is notoriously grueling, and I feel like if you're absolutely prepared for it, then it won't be too bad. 
I mean, you can say that about a lot of these missions. If you've played them already, then they're not hard. Like, if you've practiced, I should say, you know when and where the enemy attacks are coming from, then it's really not that bad. But if you're like me, going into it virtually blind right now, you might run into some problems. You might get caught with your pants down with specific attacks in certain areas. So I'm just going to leave Duke right here for now, and we'll just make sure we keep healing him up. We'll move up and we'll set up some bunkers, maybe one or two bunkers, mostly with tanks behind them. That's what we're going to need. And then we're going to have to really, really focus on turrets. I think turrets, uh, the air attacks are what are going to get you on this map, if anything does. He says now. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, excuse me. I had a weird little, little internal burp there. Uh, I'm saying that now, but watch later. I'm just going to get hit by a huge wave of Marines and Goliaths and lose. That would be a little sad. So the mineral layout is pretty shitty. Uh, luckily, the, the geyser is relatively close here, so that was a thing in the original map where the geyser was really far away. Like, surprisingly far away, so that's nice that it's a little closer here again. I think it's just the proportion, the way that things scale from StarCraft 1 to StarCraft 2, that's why it is that way. So we're getting our engineering base so that we can start getting some turrets. Just gonna keep getting more and more SCVs. We're gonna transfer some over here so that we can saturate this gas and keep relatively even distributions of SCVs on both of these sides. So it's really just setting up our economy right now. I don't want to get too greedy with economy. I mean, I do though. It's <laughs> it's hard to say. Like, I, I want to set up my economy and go a little overboard right now because I'm gonna need money and it, if I don't, then I'm just gonna be struggling to hold on over anything else. Let's see. I like the SCV models. I like the, the SCV portrait, too. Actually, they, they made it look... I should say he, Gradius, did most of this work, I think. Uh, he really made it look pre pretty similar. Now, I don't know if Gradius uh, contributed to making any of these models. Whether, you know, whether he did or did not, it's it's awesome. Or whether he just consolidated models from other people. In either case, it's really cool. Norad 2 looks really awesome. It actually looks like an old-school battle cruiser. I, pretty much all of these models, I mean, they're meant to look like they did. So I'm... I'm really, really pleased with how, how neat that is. So let's go ahead and start setting up some turrets. And let's not stop getting supply depots. Space, as usual, is going to be a considerable issue. Let's go ahead and get siege tech. I'm excited to see what the siege tanks are going to look like. And then we're going to keep making turrets just sort of around. Now that's not good. Let's get on up there. No, no, get in there. Norad 2 back out. Okay, and that's what I was saying. They're just, there's just going to be a butt-ton of... Just a butt-ton of air units that just kind of come out of nowhere. It's going to be a pain in the butt. So let's get siege tanks. And just going to need more depots as well. Now, in terms of changes that could be added for, for the... Not the retro mod, but for mass recall in general. Like, things like adding medics and lurkers. And minor changes. I think maybe the ability to lower depots could be really helpful. It could be. It doesn't have to be. But it could be really, really nice. Okay, let's see about hanging on here. We're, we are hanging on. We gotta get some tanks out as soon as possible. Oh my god, these look so cool. Oh, look at these tanks. Oh, they're so neat. Okay, let's get these set up as soon as possible and get, like, one bunker so we can throw our ghosts and marines into them. Okay, no problem. I would love to use Duke to start moving out and pecking away, but the enemy's just going to rebuild anyway. So when we attack, it has to be pretty much in one fell swoop. Otherwise, it's pretty much wasted. Let's go ahead over here and get some turrets. We're just going to need turrets, like, all along these sides. And then I'm just going to build a big force of marines, medics, and tanks and be ready to move out. Let's get uh, plus one. Get our tanks moved up. Oh, my word. Look at these. Look at these tanks. And they have the original... Whomp sound of tanks firing. I love it a lot. Love it a lot. All right, tank, move on up. We can start inching with these with these units too. Okay, hop in the bunkers. One more marine, hop in the bunker. Okay, and then these SCVs can come on down here and get back to mining. And then I will continue to make turrets like everywhere. Like I was saying, they, they seriously, they come from everywhere with, with Wraith. So I just want to have some sort of early warning system where if, if they do start coming in, I want to be at least having a turret there to defend myself. Now, these are all nuclear silos, which I don't really care for, to be honest, but that's what we got, so I could just destroy one and turn one into a commsat station. I probably won't, to be honest. Okay, we have an SCV that's stuck, but lucky us, we have dropships that we can get them out rather than just leaving them there or killing them. Okay. So we'll go ahead and make turrets back here. Again, I, I really don't know where, so this might all just be a big waste. 
But I do know that they, they are all over the place. Like, we had a group come from over here, so we just want to be mildly prepared for that. And I, I have a second barracks coming out, and I'd like to get a third one, probably. Get an academy set up as well, so we can just start pumping out tons and tons and tons of marines and medics with upgrades. I need an armory. So I'm trying to stay consolidated around these areas where I don't need units to exit out of, otherwise they'll get stuck. So let's just keep queuing up tanks. These siege tanks look really good. They look really, really cool. And the way that the barrel looks, it really does look like the original, like the original ones. Very, very, very well done by whoever made these models, and especially to Gradius, whether he made the models or just found them and decided they were proper to use and, and or polished them up, I don't know. Uh, really awesome. I should do my due diligence and see who's been who's responsible for a lot of these models because they are very impressive. I will not stop making turrets. I will not stop. They need to be everywhere. And the more we have, the the better I'll feel. The fire bats look pretty good. Okay, we're losing some stuff, but that's okay. Our siege tanks doing their best, and I might even get a, I think I'm going to get a second armory in advance. We're definitely going to want it. Let's get U-238 shells, and then hotkey my barracks and just start making marines. And now we're going to run out of money. I, I don't know how many units we realistically are going to need to push through this kind of stuff. I really don't know. Uh, I'm going to leave my wraiths. I might just right-click the wraiths on Norred 2 so that he has a vanguard of, of units that might keep him alive in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Oh my god, those StarCraft noises. The StarCraft 1 noises. I mean, I play a lot of StarCraft 1, so it's not its not new to me. It's just cool how... It's just cool hearing it in this context. Okay, so... Get a couple medics, and then marines. Just lots and lots of marines. I think I'm gonna grab a third barracks. And I could nuke. I still have my ghosts up, but I need to get all of their upgrades. Or I can just do a flat... Just a straight-up push. But frankly, I kinda... Uh, it's hard to say because I kind of want to mess around with nukes because if I don't use nukes on this m mission, mission, this mission, I probably just won't. So I, I think I think I should, especially nuking that first big area right here, which is just a bunch of bunkers, could be pretty cool. There's an area up here that we're gonna want to get rid of. It's a starport. Okay, so let's just get Marines. In advance, right now, I think what I'm going to do is throw, make a bunker here. And even though we won't put any units into it right away, I think it will be... It's due diligence, again, because we are going to get dropped on, and it'll be just good to be prepared. Now, any more SCVs than I currently have, I feel like might be a slight waste. Here comes yellow right now. Our tanks are very powerful, as you can see. So let's go ahead and make sure that we don't stop. I want to get probably seven or eight tanks. And then just a vanguard of, of Marines. Now, Goliaths are great. They are very good, but I don't think we have to worry about battle cruisers messing around with us until we get to the orange base. So for now, I think we're Research fine. Complete. All right, so money will be a consistent issue, as I was saying. Minerals, not really gas right now, surprisingly. Let's go ahead and grab barracks right there. I would like to get another factory probably over here where it will fit. But otherwise, uh, we're looking okay on space, surprisingly. I will make one science vessel, even though we can't because we are supply blocked. Let's make this right here. And let's make another one down here. Now, this is only because I've played this in the past, is that I know to be prepared for these sorts of attacks. So I feel a little dirty knowing to be prepared. Uh, just a little bit. But frankly, I remember almost losing because of it, so I think it's probably for the best. I'm going to quick save because I feel like I'm in a really good spot. The only thing I think that could really endanger me right now is some sort of cheeky... Some sort of cheeky wraith attack coming from, from a direction that I'm not prepared for. But it seems like I'm pretty well prepared in every direction, so I'm feeling okay about that. Just want more marines, honestly. So let's get those pumped out. Let's get uh, infantry armor level 2. I don't think we can get level 3 yet. I think that's uh, I think that's next, next mission only you can start getting level 3. Okay, let's load these up. Really liking the way that these marines look. And then load on up here, and okay, and then just more marines, more and more marines, we're getting our upgrades, we're getting ready to push out onto brown, which I believe is Omega Squadron? I don't remember what orange is, one of them is Omega Squadron, and then one of them is something else, I don't know. Uh, decent amount of SCVs here, let's go ahead and set this stuff up. Okay, they're coming at us with tanks, actually, so it may be worthwhile to get... It may be worthwhile to get some Goliaths because they can withstand the tank blast just a little bit better. In fact, no, I'm just going to queue up more tanks. 
All right, let's wait for a little bit more gas and then get plus two. There we go. Oh, we can get level three this mission. I was wrong. Big Jape Skates was wrong. Okay, let's move on up. I think that tank was still there. Let's go ahead and Yamato. Unsiege and then start moving in. So this is going to be a very scary push, but we are going to make it happen. We want to make sure we move up with our tanks. The question is going to be how vigorously will the enemy defend their allies. Okay, back up, back up. Don't, don't attack into the tanks. Okay, General Duke, come on up here and get rid of this tank. We are running into the grinder of tanks. This is what General Duke needs to be used for, is really just killing the tanks that are on the high ground and such. Okay, let them come to us and then keep rallying up more and more Marines. And then I need to hotkey my factory so I can get more tanks. The enemy will continue to do this. I have one SCV here that is repairing, which is good. I'd like to move in and just kill this one tank. He will take some heat just to do this, but it's going to be worth it. Maybe it was worth it. Maybe it wasn't. Keep, keep running. Keep running, General Duke. Okay, he's safe. Let's go ahead and siege on up. Let's move my science, my science vessel up. Hold position so that we can see if they're going to drop another tank up there, and they very well might. Now... We have extra SCVs, so we're going to bring them up. Decent amount of them. And we're still supply blocked. Okay, I heard you about the depots. I'm trying to just get all set up here, Adjutant. So give me a, give me a break. All right, SCVs, come on down here. Let's get crazy because we have too many. Or we're, we're too supply blocked at this point. We're repairing up General Duke. That's fine. They're replacing that shit up there, which I should have expected. I don't think I need to use Yamato for that. I'll just stick to the left side. I would very much like to start moving up. I'm going to quick save because I think I'm in okay shape. Yeah, that one tank right there was in a bad spot. But we didn't... I don't think we lost anything to it. All right, you stay away. Let's move on up and start getting rid of this tank. No, don't go that way, Marines. My Marines just love walking into the grinder. They really do. That is an enormous defense matrix. Good lord, that is an enormous defense matrix. I like it a lot. We'll use Yamato to get rid of this one turret. So in StarCraft 1, the AI worked a little differently. Basically, if you attacked any part of an enemy base, pretty much every single unit of that base would come and attack you, including the stuff in bunkers. They would just unload stuff. So pretty much if you could break through their initial defenses, you would win. Okay, let's see Jean up. Let's go for it now. Keep moving up with uh, Marines. Keep making more Marines, I should say. We are we are up where we need to be. We're at, I mean, I think we've, we've cleared out all the areas where they're going to be coming at us with tanks. Or where they're going to try to replace the tanks. Now, as you can see, they've already replaced this turret. I'm just going to sit up here because I expect them to replace the tanks up here. We're very, very close to moving through here. There's a tank kind of in a bad spot up there. Move back, Marines. What are you doing? You're crazy. Okay, let's move up with General Duke and get rid of the tank that's up here as my tanks just keep pecking away at their production. So in the original map, I'm pretty sure that these these tanks were not here. Which is okay. I mean, it adds to the the, uh, the challenge of clearing out brown, that's for sure. Let's just keep making marines. We're not close to supply blocked, being supply blocked. Let's move on in. Siege on up. There we go. I like the fire bats. They're so small. Uh, okay, do we have enough money to make another command center? If not, we can just float one of ours. No, we ha we'll have enough money. I'm going to bring... Actually, I have SCDs up here. I'm going to start making... As soon as I have the money, I'm going to start making another command center. I'm going to cancel some of these uh, marines so that I can actually start now. Okay, let's do this. There we go. We want to get rid of their all of their production. This is very important. All right, science vessel, just because I'm very curious... No, they did. They did replace the. Uh, they did replace the turret, but they didn't replace anything else. Okay, there we go. We're getting rid of this stuff. The command center is gone. We've got a lot of marines now, so we have a very, very good force. Uh, if I feel like it, maybe I'll go ahead and make some nukes and start upgrading my ghosts. Uh, what do we need? What do we want to get? I, uh, we're gonna need cloaking and ocular implants. Mobius reactor first, ocular implants and cloaking if we really want to get crazy with nukes. As you can see, that was very expensive to do up all that stuff, but that's fine. Okay, so next step is I'm going to take all these marines and medics. 
and start moving up in this direction. Now, I have to be careful because Orange is going to start attacking us. And here they are, actually. And here's a, here's a battle cruiser. Okay, let's get the wraiths in there. I might go ahead and make a small group of wraiths just to counter Orange battle cruisers. Ooh, they're trying to retreat and run away. That's actually pretty cool. That's a cool AI addition. Okay, so not everybody, but most of you, including the medics. We want to come up and start clearing out brown stuff that's up, uh, because they have starports up here that we're going to want to get rid of. So let's lift. Move on up. No, no, lift. Move on up. We can make this a commsat station. I can see orange has dropped on me. This is about what I expected. Draw them into the bunker. This is why I have it. And then you guys come on over here. Hit this wraith. Okay, that was not in vain. I am very pleased with myself. Okay. Uh, Brown still has units here, so can't I can't just easily move in yet. Okay, I'd like to land this because I've got to get this base set up. Meanwhile, you guys keep going. I don't know what they have up here. I don't know if they, I don't think they have bunkers. It should just be wraiths and turrets, but they might have a, a cheeky siege tank up here, which would be disastrous for me. Okay, let's move on in again. We just want to get rid of every single brown building. They are, yeah. See, they, they're actually brown is rebuilding stuff here. Okay, there's a, there's. Let's go ahead and grab this. General Duke is getting healed. Let's move up with our tanks and then SCVs get mining. Uh, let's send the science uh, the science vessel over here. One starport down. Are there two? I think there's just one. I don't know. We have to check everywhere, and because the enemy rebuilds... Alright, come on over here. And because the enemy rebuilds, they are just a, a huge pain in the ass on this mission, because they can just be anywhere at any time, and you have to destroy every single turret, just everything. Alright, let's move on up, and then siege up. And then you Marines, move on up and help us keep cleaning this out. We have some wraiths over here. We want to draw them into our, into our turrets and remake new ones. Yep, and they keep dropping on us. This is about this is about how I expected this to go. Okay, and I, I'm neglecting upgrades too. Well, we've gotten rid of, of brown, so we're in good shape there. Come back here. And we just need turrets. Lots and lots of turrets all along this ledge too. Okay, now I have my comsat station, so that's good. All of you... Come on over here, except Science Vessel, I want you to come up here and then back. And start making tons and tons of SCVs. And some of these SCVs we can transfer. I just cancelled all of them making turrets where I needed them. Let's do this. We probably have too many turrets down here too. Stupid, stupid cloaked rates. Okay, so that should be everything of Brown's. Uh, they, they might have one or two more buildings, but we did stop their random drops from coming from all these other locations So we should be good there, but here comes orange who is very very unhappy with us and orange has a bunch of siege tanks up on the high ground up there So that's gonna be a hassle Okay, and then where's norad 2? Okay, come on over here, buddy. It's not Duke. It's technically norad 2 Okay, and then let's not stop rallying up medics and Marines Spending our money and come on up here and start we're gonna start pecking away at this stuff now I don't know if the enemy's going to rebuild this stuff. This stuff is high up on a on a on a high level So I don't know if they're gonna bother with us or not There must be enemies back here Let's send uh, Let's send Nora 2 to check that out and get more SCVs make sure to pull some off to repair at all times So brown again should be all gone unless they have something up here. There's a weird base in the upper left that I could take It's a really really nice base What is that actually? Oh, it's the missile. It's it's the missile turret sound. I was wondering. I'm like, I couldn't see this. Oh, it's a Goliath. Well, the Goliath and the missile turret they share like a goofy attack sound. It's really, really goofy sounding. So it's it's neat to hear that. All right, so more turrets. I'm gonna keep the wraiths in reserve, and I might make a few more. Let's go ahead and get uh, upgrades now that I've been heavily neglecting. Heavily neglecting. Let's get some more wraiths. It sounds like I'm getting attacked from the air again. But this is why I made these turrets. We need a lot of them. And I'm going to move these tanks up just a little bit, because it seems like the enemy is going to continue to attack me. Actually, no, I want to move forward and clear out this ledge. 
We should have enough tanks to make a good roll across this map now. Now use the science vessels to spot. We're going to clean this out again. Unless the enemy brings dropships up here to clear this stuff out, we should be in really good shape. Okay, move forward a little bit. Okay, the missile turret has the, the original sound, not the not the Goliath uh, turret sound, which is fine. I mean, it's not a, not a big deal, but they did sound very similar in the original. Okay, so let's hop those guys on gas, and let's go ahead and get two nukes, and we'll bring our ghosts up. Let's see, is there anything else we really want to get for ghosts? We don't need lockdown. All right, let's unload this bunker because we don't need it. We should have, I mean, we have a very nice force here, so we should be good to get going. And here we go, as I was saying, as I anticipated, it looks like they've replaced one of the tanks up here. What just, what hit that tank? That was very strange. I think this area up here, again, we, you can't get to. You can't easily get to, so. Okay, it looks like the enemy's coming at me from over here. Lots and lots of tanks. This is why I need to move my defenses up. That is a lot of tanks. Let them let them walk into me. Let them walk into my tanks. Okay, let's not deal with that. There we go. Okay, so because we get vision on the high ground when the enemy shoots, that's why we're able to destroy those tanks before they get to us. Let's just start moving up and be prepared for these attacks. Everybody move up. I'd like to just ignore that area up there because the enemy's just gonna replace just gonna replace the stuff. Okay, so let's get more siege tanks and another factory. And then another barracks here. Add these to my hotkey groups. That wasn't the right one. There we go. Okay. So now my refinery should be safe to build. Let's move up with everything. And I built more rates. I might want to bring these up to protect Duke. But instead, I'm going to leave them... No, I'm going to leave them here. I think defending my main production is crucial. We're going to need more supply depots, but we have a lot more space now. What would be actually smart would be to build another command center over here. It would increase our... Uh, it would increase our ability to mine significantly. Uh, I could also... Well, see, I'll show you. It's this area up here. This is like a really nice base to take, but I think the enemy might attack us if we try to. Let's see. So I suppose we want to start moving up in this direction. This is going to be annoying to push through. We'll use Duke. Looks like they're sending a battle cruiser down to me, which is this area. So I probably just want to build even more turrets so that they don't break through with just battle cruisers. That would be very bad. So the enemy did recently attack me, so I think now is a good a, good a time as ever to start going and trying to get to them. Uh, we want to get up here. Don't have enough for... No, I do have enough for a scan. So this leads nowhere. So we have to come up this ramp and we have to get by this little area. So let's move in. My Marines are going to get eaten up at, by tank fire as we go, but I think that's okay. I'd like to take Nora to move up. And there's probably going to be another tank up here and a tank in the back. So we'll do this and this and this and this. Perfect. And slowly but surely... Okay, and here comes Wraiths. Alright, no, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving. Uh, everybody just go. Let's Defense Matrix Duke. Turn and fight Duke. And we just have to get on top of the tanks that are up there. There's two, so it's going to be very, very bad for me. As my, all of my Marines run into the grinder. Okay, Yamato this. There we go, and let's move up this ramp, and then we're going to keep making Marines, mostly Marines. We have a few medics. We don't want too many of them. Let's move on in. Do I have any SCVs? We want to make sure we grab even more of them to stay healed up at all times. Okay, good. And then this is where we this is where we pretty much want to siege up, is up here. Goliaths would have been helpful in this specific specific circumstance against this amount of battle cruisers. I could also bring the uh I could also bring the not the ghost. Do I have ghosts in here? I have one ghost. Let's cloak him and figure out where we want to nuke. We have two nukes. Alright, Duke is Duke can handle these battle cruisers himself. He's also getting healed. So let's move in the back and. Well, nothing down here. You guys come on down here and take care of that. And slowly but surely, we're taking care of this stuff. Let's go ahead and... I think now we want to get some Goliaths because we need extra range to take care of this stuff. We want, we still want to nuke. 
I think right there is be as a good spot as, a as any. As we begin to push through this spot. And we have a second nuke that I'm going to use pretty much immediately after. So all these enemies that are coming up, they were trying to replace the enemies that had died earlier, which is kind of silly. Alright, I thought I had ocular, ocular implants, but apparently we'll just stick to it being a little bit closer. Okay, and this mission hasn't been as bad as I expected it to be, to be honest. This really wasn't too bad. Alright, is my ghost too close? No, he's not. Let's get down there. Oh my god, wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. They have so many, so many units down there. We're gonna have, probably have to use Duke. Let's see, I could also nuke that area if my ghost is still alive. He may have just run into the grinder right there. Need more minerals. Um, I mean, this is mining just fine, but I could definitely use more. Could also use more upgrades. Okay, so let's just defense Matrix Duke and get in here and try to kill some of these tanks. We destroyed the factory, so, I mean, they're probably going to try to rebuild it, but if we can get rid of some of these tanks... All right, now, there's too many glass. Let's draw them into my tanks so we can get rid of all of this stuff. We're defense Matrix, so I'm very, very safe. Let's move down here. Again, I'm going to keep trying to get rid of these tanks. These SCVs want to heal Duke, unfortunately. So we have to get rid of this big clump of tanks, and then we're pretty much done with this mission. Then we have to move our units down here. There's missile turrets all down this ledge, which are going to be annoying and force us to destroy them. Okay, I rallied up, I think, enough Marines. Maybe went even a little overboard on this mission. I think maybe it's just when I was a child, this mission was so long and hard that I... <laughs> get it? Uh, it was so long and hard that I... Uh, I just felt, felt it was just a big pain in the ass. Whereas yes, now, it's it's so. really not too bad. All right. Two more tanks, and then I'm just going to run down with my infantry, and we are in good shape. The enemy is not... Oh, you know why they can't rebuild? We destroyed their command center and probably all their SCVs. All right, now it's time. Let's, in, let's get in there. That tank is going to get one freebie shot because I was a little too hasty. And then we're going to go. Uh, my wraiths are going to run through missile turrets, so let's have them come up here and here and then around. Meanwhile, let's take a, a small group. And whoops, uh, sorry, sorry, dropship. I'm not that sorry though. Okay, and we, we should there should be like zero resistance in this base now. We just have to track down every single enemy base, including that upper left one that has to go down next. Okay, so Goliaths attack all the way down the edge. And then I'm going to take a very large group of Marines and just move up in that direction. Meanwhile, the rest of these units will keep getting rid of these orange buildings. They're still trying to build out of that uh, out of that barracks. They're very, very tenacious on hard mode. I think every unit is, is uh, set to be rebuilt at least two or three times. At least two or three times. It might just be forever. I mean, if it's a bully trigger, I think it's just forever. Okay, that should be everything except the upper left, so everybody get going. And we'll unsiege and go and destroy that last supply depot. All right, yeah, you know what? I didn't have that much trouble. So there should be a cinematic after this. I'm going to watch it after this mission as opposed to the beginning of the next one. I feel like that's when it fits the best. In my opinion, it's basically just a big Sons of Korhal fleet. It's not really that big. It's just a couple rates going and attacking uh, going and attacking the Confederate platforms from, from space, which is pretty cool. Uh, unless that comes after mission 8, but I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. It may have been moved to after Mission 8. Mission 8 is another secret mission that we're going to be playing next. It's really, really cool. It takes place on the surface of Tarsonis. Another scrapped mission similar to uh, the mission after 7. What was it called? Biting the Bullet. Whatever it was after that. Sorry, Wraiths. Sorry, Wraiths. Yeah, sure, do this. Move on in. Just get in here and kill this stuff. And these are the last buildings. Unless the enemy is rebuilt somewhere. And if I'm lucky, they haven't. I think I've gotten rid of most of their SCVs. All right. Yep, we did it. Very cool. All right, so normally there's some dialogue at the end of that mission. Ooh, this looks nice. Now, apparently, Kosturek, who's a member of the Mass Recall team, the, the dev team, he added new score screens. This actually looks really, really cool. I like, it's just like the old bars that you used to be able to see. Pretty good survival rate for a, such a, a grueling mission. 43 minutes, not too bad. Anyway, there's normally some dialogue at the end of this mission that uh, you hear Duke talking about Siamitters in place and then Kerrigan objects. 
Okay, orange was Delta Squadron. Brown was Omega Squadron. I keep going on tangents here, but anyway, uh, Kerrigan objects. Now, that has since been moved to the secret mission that we're going to play next time. In the vanilla original game, it was at the end of this mission. It'll make more sense when we play it next next mission, though. So I hope you stick around. Hope you're enjoying this series. Leave your feedback down below. I hope you're happy that I am using the retro mod. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now. But wait, I said I was going to watch the cinematic. So let's do that first. I think the loading screen is taking us back to the... It's a separate map for the cinematic launcher. That's why there's a loading screen. Here we go. Sons of Korhal, Wraith Squadron, Bravro. Bra Bravro. Bravo. Mission Assault Confederate Space Platform. High Orbit. Over Confederate Capital World Tarsonis. Hicks in space. I'm telling you, that's what that's what StarCraft is all about. But what what the Terran faction should have been moving into StarCraft 2, Hicks in space. There's a charm to it. They were just so silly sounding. Anyway, this has been Jay Barino for real this time. I'll see you next time. Bye now.